Okay, so we're about ready to install our Safety Plus steering uh, dampener. And so we're up underneath the rig here. And what we've we've already done is we've already placed this bracket here. Um, it, it's kind of tough to wiggle in and out of, so we didn't film while we were doing that. But basically all you need is the U-bolts that come with the kit and the bracket and a rubber hammer. And those U-bolts, just so you know, are super tight. And so when you put them over your tie rod, you have to, you, you really have to beat them across the tie rod. Um, and that's just so they'll be snug. Um, as you can see, can you see this here? As you can see, we just, we just snug the, the bolts down. We still are going to have to move it when we get the safety plus, uh, shock absorber on here. So the first thing we're going to do now, a well, second, I guess, after we do this is we're going to mount the plate. And if you look over here, you can see that, um, the plate for the suspension is here and uh, this plate is going to go right here and so what we'll do is we will drop a bolt through and we'll put a washer and a nut just to get it snug Put a washer and the nut on there, and we'll raise this up until it's just snug enough. And now we'll put the other nut through this and down through that. And then the other nut down here. Now, before you do this, you have to remove the bolts that are the nuts and bolts that are already there, and you will need a extra alarm breaker bar to get those because they are on there good. So, what we'll do now is we'll get our wrench, which we have here, and the adapter and our socket. And we'll start to tighten these up. So. That's on. So our next order of business will be to attach the main part of the safety steer onto this bracket. And so what we'll do is we'll take one of these bolts. Now the catch here is that the washers go around the safety steer. So what we'll do is we'll go bolt, washer, safety steer, or safety plus, I'm sorry. Washer and then oh. the nut. Or nut. And we'll leave this loose right now. Just hand tighten. And then we're gonna come over here. And we're <laughs> gonna mount our bar on this, and we've really got to move this a good ways. And so this is where you need a little bit of leverage because this takes some working on. So again, our washers will go around the safety safety plus. So it will be get this just right here. Bolt safety plus. Oh, 
or bolt bracket washer safety plus washer nut and we'll hand tighten those and so all righty and so this is this is what it's going to look like when it's installed So now what we'll do is we will go ahead and we'll tighten down the safety plus uh, body. We'll tighten that down, and then we will uh, we will loosely tighten these bolts. Just we'll, we'll tighten them down to 20 pounds. Our wheels are roughly pointing in a straight direction, but um, we know we still have to adjust this. So let's get the impact driver here and the wrench. And we will this and get this one on down here. And let's see. Okay. And now we have to do that side. Get on this one. Okay. Let's see if we can get up in there. We can't. Nope. This one may end up being the good old ratchet. <laughs> I think maybe I can get to it from up here. Yeah, I can. Okay, so. All right, so now it says to tighten these to 20 pounds. So we're 30, so we're gonna set a torque wrench down. Okay, so that just clicked, and that clicked. So now the safety steer is attached. So now all we got to do is just take it out and drive it and align it. All right, let's try. Okay, so as far as uh, aligning the Safety Plus, uh, what I did was I um, started off uh, driving to a big church parking lot. And on the way, I noticed exactly uh, where, um, where the steering wheel was that made it go straight. And it wasn't where the steering wheel was exactly, uh, as you look at it, where you thought straight would be. It was a little, it's maybe about uh, 30 degrees off center. So. I uh, went to a church parking lot uh, and then um, uh, parked it in the parking lot and set the wheel exactly where the the straight was and then crawled up under here. I'm on a creeper and so that's why I did it in a church parking lot because it was so easy to do. And then I just loosened these four bolts here, these four bolts on the U-bolt, and the Safety Plus actually self-centered 
to exactly where I had the steering wheel set. So I retightened the four bolts and then I just rolled the RV through the parking lot using the striping of the parking lot as my guidelines and actually saw um, where it was just a hair off. And so I climbed back up under here, but I didn't loosen the bolts. I just climbed up under here and then, uh, and then hit this bracket uh, just a few times with a hammer and the top of the U-bolts a few times to slide it just just slightly and uh, then drove it home and it seemed to be uh, it seemed to be tracking perfectly so uh, as far as I'm concerned the safety plus is or the it is just a phenomenal product it has totally lessened the amount of sawing that you do on the steering wheel while you drive it uh, it is it tightens up the steering really well uh, it's a it a so much better driver fatigue after driving um, and also knowing that if there was if there was something that happened a, a front tire blowout or something like that the the steering dampener here would take most of that and uh, wouldn't result in uh, possibly an accident or something like that so I wanted to to finish this up with just how to do the adjustment and uh, I hope that you guys if you do uh, if you do uh, decide to take on this project and, and buy one and install it yourself it is certainly something you can do uh, and if you uh, if you have any questions or anything, just leave them in the comments below. Uh, again, uh, get out there, RV, uh, and uh, make sure you make it to church on Sunday. Thanks.